Okay, so let's use Kaizena to grade a student's paper. So I'm in my class and I want to go ahead and click on an assignment that a student turned in and in order to save some time I've already opened it. And then this is the assignment. Now I can't actually give voice comments through Kaizena on in through classroom and you can see that I'm in classroom because I've got the comment bank etc. You actually have to hit this little button right here to open in a new window which I've already done to save time and I've already gone to add-ons, Kaizena and open Kaizena. So here is Kaizena so I'm gonna go ahead and enable my microphone and I'm gonna go ahead and click voice comment. So I'm going to add my voice comment right here. I'm going to allow my microphone if it asks you. And now I'm going to tell this student, please add a link here. You must have forgotten to add this link. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and post that. Now it's going to have some of my message from the last, what I was talking about, my microphone if it asks you. And now I'm going to tell this student, please add a link here. You must have forgotten to add this link my microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one. And so I'm going to go ahead and highlight this right here because I want to add another voice comment. And I'll just go here and do another voice message. This is a wonderful uh, playlist that you've created here. Good job. And if it asks you. And now I'm going to tell this student, please add a link here. You must have forgotten to add this link. It's a wonderful uh, playlist that you've created here. Good job. Okay, so now you can see that I've got two links in here. The students can see because they're green. I can go down here. I can add a skill if I wish. So you can go ahead and put skills in here, um, and you can manage your skills on Kaizena. Um, you can also add a lesson. So you can use a search these lessons here, these sample lessons, which are kind of cool. And you can also send a text message. You can also add a rubric. So you can create a new rubric, etc. And there's plenty of things out there to show you how to use that. So here is the, um, the assignment that the student has done. And then when I go back to my... Um, you can see that when I go back to classroom, all I have is different tabs. You can see my links here. I can add a private comment here. This is not through Kaizena. This is through the comment bank here in classroom. And then I'm going to return this to the student. So I'm going to go ahead and return that. Now when a student opens up this um, document, let me go ahead and um, refresh. So the student will also have to do the same thing. So he, he or she can go ahead and open up the assignment. And again, Kaizena will not work within classroom. So here we are. I'm going to come here and go to add-ons. And if the student must hit that little button, but then you can go ahead and open Kaizena. And once it's open, the student can go ahead and listen to your comments. So here it is. The students can listen to your comments right here. So this is the one that I'm clicked on right now. My students can listen to My that microphone, one. microphone, if it asks you. If I click on this one down here, it will show me that. And your students then can so listen wonderful. to your comments. They have the option then of clicking the three dots, resolving it, or reply to you, and they can send a voice message to you. And they have the comments that you've left for them so that they can go ahead and fix whatever you want them to fix, and then they can resubmit the assignment.